Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Tying Video Production. Here I'll be tying my favourite flies and patterns that I've used over the years. Uh, to catch a lot of fish, not to catch the angler. Uh, at the end of each of the videos I'll have a wee list of materials that you can either purchase off my website or you can purchase the flies. Uh, it's www.fly-fishingworld.com I hope you'll get your pals to come and have a look, get them to subscribe, like, hit the thumbs up button, thumbs down button. It all helps. Uh, get them to, to hit the bell notification, then you'll get all your notifications. It means a lot to me if I've got more subscribers, because then I'm helping a lot more people. So I want to get subscribers up. So today I'm going to be tying a fly called a light bulb. Now a lot of people will remember it. It's just a variation basically of a cat's whisker type thing. So. What I've got in the vise is a fully mill heavy comp, 1530 hook, size 10, but you can tie these on 14s and 12s as well. We're going to need some uh, spring water blue marabou for the for the wing, so we need some spring water blue. Okay. We're going to need some Globrite number 11, phosphorus yellow for the tail, some pearl razor flash for the wing. Okay. Some yellow cock hackle fibres. Have I missed anything? Let me think. Oh yeah, the body. We're going to need some chenille. So we're using the cat booby chenille. The, the proper stuff, the right colour. So we're going to need some black thread. But you can do it with uh, fire orange as well. Or you could do it with a yellow head. So let's just get started. It's a plain and simple fly. Dead easy to tie. Get the thread down the hook shank. Okay, and back up to the middle of the hook. Get my glow bright force. Now, it depends how many flies you're tying. Obviously, if I'm tying quite a few, I'm going to take about a metre of floss off because uh, that's going to do the, do the wings and uh, do the tails of maybe 10 flies. So, I folded it twice, I'm going to fold it for a third time. And it really depends on how thick you want the tail. I want it thicker than that, so it's got to get folded four times. So I want it quite a, a fat tail on it. Right, catch it in, and then just run back down. That's it. These are all just variations of a cat's whisker type thing. But it was all flies. I mean, if you look at my lock leaving box, that's what it's full of in my Lakeham and Teeth box. So we'll just cut that off, right, try to get the colour a wee bit better, don't know if the light's kind of bouncing off the colour or not, right, and just work it with your thumb and your index finger, don't worry about this bit, we can just cover that up, right, just tie that down, right, now I just want to tie the body in, so as I say, we're just using the normal chenille, You could use a 4mm F up, green glow yellow as well. I'm just going to use the normal stuff because that's the original one too. Because the 4mm F up wasn't available in those days when we were fishing these patterns. That's 4 tons, that's plenty. And then just trim it off. Okay. Now I'm going to take it out of the vise, turn it around. I'm going to do the throat hackle. Just tidy it up, get myself a platform for the throat hackle. I say just get a big fat hackle. So I'm just going to pull some fibres off. I'm probably taking about, I don't know, two and a half centimetres length off. Whatever that equates to fibre wise, it'll probably be 20 maybe. So we're just going to use it as a beard hackle. I'll catch it in, pinch and loop, pull down. Make sure it's sitting the way you want it. If not, just push it round. Tie it in. Get your scissors. Oh, and tidy that up. You might as well tidy it up while you get the hook upside down because then you can see what needs tidying. Turn it round, back in, right, 
then we get our wing. So we're going spring water blue. Take it off the stock and catch and pinch, and then line it up with the tail. Okay, fingers again. You're using the fingers as your your measuring gauge. Trim it, pinch and loop. All right, catch it in. It's a wee bit long, so I'm going to take it back off. I'm going to cut another wee bit off. So we're moving it forward. Personally, I don't like it too long. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move that light out of the way because I think the light's interfering because there's too much daylight as well. Right, so catch that in with a few more turns. And then we'll trim off this excess. We are going to cover it up with the thread anyway. Right. Okay. Tidy the head up a little bit. As always. Okay. Then all we need is a wee bit. Just say three strands of pearl. It's just to give it that bit of a glint in the water. Catch it in. Okay. Like so that, there's a little yellow fibre just went astray, so I just pulled it back in. Pulled it round, catch it in. Okay. And then tidy the head up. So I can see it a little bit on that side. It's not covered up properly. Because the camera's pointing on it. That's better. Right, and then just put finish. Okay, take the thread off. Not really any story for this one, it's just a pattern that, 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 that any angler and lock leaving or relating with teeth always had in their box. It's one that they probably can't remember, or they, they, they remember it, but it's one of the ones they've not used it for a long, long time. And all we want to do is just varnish the head up. Right, and that, that's you, that's a light bulb, basically. That was the name it was given. Long, long time ago. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're going to come and subscribe if you've not already. Uh, hope you're going to let your mates know. Get them to have a look. Get them to go and follow me on my Facebook, my Instagram, David C Downey for Facebook. Instagram's Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Uh, online shop is www.fly-fishingworld.com. And on there you can find the flies and the materials to tie the flies. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to just send me a message through uh, YouTube or do it on my my, my online shop or do it through Facebook. I do have gift cards available as well now for, for your loved ones or for your mates uh, on the shop as well. So go and have a look. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so that you're getting the notifications and, and most importantly you and your family stay safe because the lockdown is a nightmare but please please stay safe because there will always be another day to go fishing alright thanks for watching and I'll speak to you later bye for now